Hello everyone again, I, I'm Alexander Kichigin and my work is about electron and simulating electron energy loss spectroscopy with the discrete dipole approximation. First of all, uh, I will give an introduction, I will again <laughs> remind everyone what ELS is, what cathode luminescence is, and uh, then I'll briefly explain what is discrete dipole approximation as a simulation technique. And I will tell what theory was already available for simulating ELS and CL with the discrete dipole approximation. And then after this introduction, I will talk about our approach using volume integral equation framework to obtain theory for simulating. Uh, and then I will show you our results and uh, at the end, some simulation examples. So uh, quickly again, uh, uh, ELS is uh, an experimental technique. It is performed in an electron microscope. The electron beam blasts onto the particle. Then uh, those are the electrons who, uh, who, who had a straight trajectory uh, are trapped into the ELS spectrometer. Their kinetic energies are measured and the ELS spectrum is obtained. While interacting with the beam, the particles uh, excite, start uh, emitting light. This light is co collected and uh, sent to the CL spectrometer where the cathode luminescence uh, spectrum is obtained. Here is a, here's a, some example of ELS spectra. Uh, depending on the beam position uh, on the cross-section of the particle, you get different uh, spectra. And uh, for example, for this 2.2 electron volts, uh, you also can visualize to which regions of the particle this peak is uh, uh, this peak belongs. Uh, for this 2.2 electron volt, this peak belongs to the edges of silver nanoprism, and uh, other peaks belong to other regions of this nanoprism. Well, uh, discrete dipole approximation is a simulation technique. It is, um, it, it, is, um, it, it is, it is a simulation technique that uh, helps you simulate um, electromagnetic wave scattering by particles of arbitrary shape uh, and composition. And it, DDA is based on the volume integral equation. Here it is. Uh, this is uh, uh, basically Maxwell's equation, equations in the frequency domain reformulated as one single volume integral equation. Uh, it contains the green standard. For the fr case of free space, uh, the green, green standard looks like this. And uh, as I said, this is the base of the DDA. And after the volume discretization of this equation, uh, we obtain this system of linear equations. So any DDA code uh, basically solves this system of linear equations. Um, and after, it, after it's solved, we obtain the polariz polarizabilities of each uh, discretized elementary volume, which is uh, in this method replaced by uh, point dipoles. And after we obtained polarizations of all the dipoles, we can uh, calculate some quantities uh, like uh, extinction and uh, scattering uh, uh, cross sections of the particle, of the particle that is arbitrarily shaped and arbitrarily composited. composited. And the most common DDA codes are DDSCAT and ADDA. Though they are both open source and both are available for everyone. Now about the theory that was already available. Uh, we have three cases of the medium, vacuum, non-absorbing medium, and absorbing medium. Well, for the case of vacuum, ah, and also we want to separate uh, the energy losses of, of uh, our electron. We, we want to see, we want to look at them like, uh, a diff differ them into free space energy losses in the absence of the particle and particle induced energy losses, uh, which we call W enhanced. Uh, for the case of vacuum, free space energy losses are zero and uh, the particle induced energy losses are, are what were found uh, to be equal to the extinction cross section of the particle. And uh, here, W extinction is the extinction power rate, which is proportional to extinction uh, cross section. And for non absorbing medium, we have the Frank Tam formula for the case of Cherenkov radiation in the case of free space energy losses. Uh, we have some problems uh, in absorbing medium, but uh, there are uh, several approximation uh, approximations and formulas for, for them as well. Uh, but we are interested in particle-induced energy losses in, in the case of simulating yields. 
uh, and uh, we only have uh, the, the, the expression for the case of vacuum. And yet none of these expressions were obtained in the volume integration, integral equation framework. Um, so uh, we want to use this uh, volume integral equation framework and see what happens. Uh, uh, if we uh, if we use uh, this volume integral equation framework, we, we find that it already contains the energy budget with general expressions for all the electric fields, the incident field of an electron, the scattered field from the particle, and all the power rates. Uh, like for uh, for the particle, it would be W, w extinction, W absorption, and W scattered uh, power rates. And for the source, which uh, for our case is uh, an electron, uh, moving in a straight trajectory uh, and uh, in an infinite line. Uh, an electron has uh, W0, free space energy losses, and W enhanced particle induced energy losses. So uh, we can uh, say that uh, EELS uh, electron energy loss probability uh, is uh, proportional to the W0 plus, plus W enhanced. So W emitted, which is the sum of them two, is uh, loss probability with some coefficient. And for the cathode luminescence, um, the radiated energy will be the, the light emitted and collected to the CL spectrometer. And radiated energy is emitted per energy minus the energy that the particle absorbed. Uh, so if we know W enhanced, we basically solve the problem of ILS and CL um, simulation in the DDA. And as for the results, if we take this uh, current density JS, uh, current density of our single electron and uh, put it into the, as I said, also known uh, from the volume integral equation framework expression for the incident field of an electron. This is an integral with Green's tensor multiplied by current density. And if we calculate this integral, we obtain the field of an of a relativistic electron in an arbitrary host medium, the, which was a known result from the literature, but we obtained it kind of different way. Um, and we have this W extinction uh, integral uh, that, uh, that all DDA codes uh, has been able to calculate for, for decades now. Uh, it is incident field, which we know over the polarization conjugated, which uh, the DDA codes uh, Calculate, but we want this enhanced energy losses, which is kind of different integral. And uh, in our approach, we represent the scattered field as an integral uh, with green tensor over pol polariz polarization of the particle, and then interchange the integration order in this double integral. And uh, we obtained this expression where E1 is. Uh, an auxiliary field that we introduced, it is by definition uh, is this integral, green tensor uh, multiplied by current density conjugated, it's a kind of different integral from this incident field. And if we calculate this E1 integral, we, uh, we find that the final result is um, very similar to incident field and can be expressed as a, a modified incident field. And the incident field, we just know it. So E1, we know it. And the polar polarization, the DDA code calculates it. So we know both these quantities and we can calculate uh, this integral and find the enhanced energy losses. And so this uh, expression is valid, not only for the case of vacuum, but um, for any arbitrary, even absorbing host medium. And uh, as for the vacuum, it turns out that E1 in vacuum uh, equals to minus E incident conjugated, which immediately leads to the result that W enhanced equals to the W extinction, which was a known result. So in our approach, we calculated, uh, first of all, electric fields, uh, incident field of an electron in an arbitrary host medium. Then we calculated the free space energy losses and got the same results that are known from the literature. We literally calculated this integral for the case of vacuum and it turned out to be zero. And also we introduced the general expression for all the cases of medium, of the host medium, uh, which is valid not only for the case of vacuum, but for any even absorbing host medium. 
and all those expressions were obtained in the volume integral equation framework and we implemented them into the open source code ADA. So here's a, a first simulation result. If we a little take bit silver, time. okay. What? You have like two minutes to two three minutes to finish. Okay. 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 If we have the silver sphere of 75 nanometer radius and from 100 nanometers of its center, the electron with 100 kilo electron volts moves, then the ILS and CL spectrums are represented by black lines and uh, uh, this is an uh, exact solution by Lawrence Me for spheres. Uh, and the simulated with at the spectra are red and uh, pink magenta lines. So they are, they are pretty close and uh, this was 128 dipoles per axis. And if uh, we want uh, it to be more precise, we just want to more deep discretization. Here's an example of visualization of the two 2.63 electron volts uh, plasmon peak for this uh, configuration of silver nanoprism. Uh, it's, this picture is kind of similar to the one that was shown on the first slide. Uh, so we can do that too now. And here's, as I said, uh, the example of simulation in medium. Uh, this black line is still the exact solution for the case of vacuum, but this red line is for the case of the same sphere in the glass of, uh, with refractive index of 1.5. And this uh, blue line is for the optically thick glass with refractive index of two. And for this case of uh, blue line, um, uh, it is uh, the Chern where the Cherenkov radiation kicks in. So even for the case of Cherenkov radiation, uh, it's still uh, possible to simulate it. And as we see, the in, in medium, the peaks are shifted to the left, to the lower energies, and their amplitude is uh, significantly lower. So in conclusion, we applied the volume integral equation framework uh, and obtained uh, the expressions for the incident field in arbitrary medium, for free space energy losses in arbitrary medium, and uh, uh, introduced the general expression for enhanced energy losses in arbitrary medium. We implemented uh, these expressions into ADDA, and now uh, in my currently in my separate fork, ADDA uh, as an open source code available to everyone, but uh, until the, the end of the year, uh, it will be merged, in, merged into master branch of ADDA. Thank you. And I also want to mention that our next goal is do the same in the presence of substrate. Thank you.